Gentlemen, yeah. I got an awesome uh, post somebody sent me on Instagram. One of the brosners named C underscore czar uh, sent me this thing. Uh, it's an animation. It's, it's all over the internet now. Everybody's seen it, I think. But uh, where it's showing, I think it's a blue whale basically okay. trying to feed in a bay. And it's basically showing all of the uh, interference from the ships that are going back and forth. You can see it. Will's brought it up here. And I was super interested to ask you about this forest. Have you? Sure. I mean, you're watching it now? Yeah. Yeah, I can see it. I, I, I've seen it floating around the last 24 hours or so. Um, what are my thoughts on it? It's pretty sad. You know, you look at that lonely little blue dot. looks like a game of Pong going on between the uh, all of the ships. I mean, pretty sad if you so ask me. So is it stuck? So this is in near Chile in, in a bay, mm-hmm. right? In a gulf yeah. of some in kind, a gulf. Yeah. So it's, it's sort of stuck. Stuck in there, yeah? Well, I don't think so. I think that animal has the ability to leave the gulf if it wants to, but, you know, it's that's where it lives. That's its natural feeding grounds. That's where sure. the habitat is. That's where the food source is, et cetera, et cetera. And this is just the reality of, you know, this, this is probably worse than most parts of the world, but this is just the reality of what's going on in the world with, uh, with the amount of, of ship traffic, you know? So all these boats that you can see tagged, they have something called AIS on them. So every large shipping boat in the world, every large shipping ship, uh, anything over 60 feet or something like that has to have AIS so that you can track it at all times. So you know yeah. that there's no smuggling or, or, or God knows what. I don't know what the reason behind the law is. But so all these ships are tagged in AIS. That whale, you know, some kind of researcher probably got like a wildlife computers, which is like a little satellite tag that works in real time. Every time that whale breaks the surface, which as we know with whales is all the time because that's how they breathe, it pings a satellite, right? So we get real-time tracking. We know exactly where that whale is when it's, when it's up. And when this, this brose, if you will, has, uh, has, um, <laughs> he's, uh, he's mapped the AIS of the ships and he's mapped the real-time data of, of the whale. And you can see how much this whale has to avoid all of these boats, right yeah. and how it has to bounce around and there's something that a lot of people don't realize not to go on too long but is these animals are very very sensitive to noise pollution right so if yeah. any of us are out on a boat and we see a whale we're like oh my god that's amazing it's a whale like check it out let's go whale watching let's enjoy it and you enjoy looking at this animal right but if that's that that interaction has changed that animal's behavior it's it's like crowd control with a sound device right like they they hate boat noise I mean, little boats aren't as bad but those big boats leave a ton of noise pollution that drives these animals crazy so you can see as you watch the graphic a lot of the times the whale is turning basically before the boat even gets to where it is and it's going in a different direction and then it's going a different direction it's going a different direction so you know in my mind this is almost like not to be too negative but it's almost like torture where there's probably all this noise this animal's trying to eat it keeps getting disoriented and turning left and turning right. It's trying to find food, and there's just boats overhead. I mean, it m- must be hectic. Yeah. yeah. It looks hectic. Yeah. The, so are these – is it by itself or in, like, a pod, do you think? I, d- d- I don't know. I'm not even sure what species of whale it was. Um, I think it mentioned it, but I can't recall. Um, there's a blue whale, you I know, think, right? Isn't it a, is blue, it a blue whale? whale? Yeah. Um, so, you know, blue whale are typically solitary, so odds are it's, it's by itself. You know, if it's, it depends on the species. It could have very easily encountered many other whales doing all of this. Mm-hmm. This might be the only one tagged. There could be 500 whales in the bay, you know, but it doesn't really change the fact of what you're seeing, right? Whether, yeah. whether you had a dozen blue dots up there or one blue dot, it's just interesting to see how they have to dodge all of that ship traffic. Yeah, so it's a blue whale over the span of one week. That's Damn. crazy, man. I w- that's nuts i wonder how wide that uh that bay is there or that gulf there, there's a key down there let me yeah measure, what's it say 20 kilometers okay so, so it's not very it's not big huge, especially for a blue yeah. whale good lord right and you yeah, know like I mean, this, this is sucks. this is obviously a gulf that's used for a lot of shipping and, and boats right i mean i don't know what kind of trade is going on there i don't know the region this animal might have the ability to leave the bay and get away from all of this. But at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's that animal's domain. You know what I mean? It's right. not human's domain. Like, 
I know humans have conquered it and they have boats to get across it and all of that, but that animal is where it's supposed to be, not the other way around. So it, it it's pretty sad. It's kind of a hard thing to look at. Yeah, it's it's it looks like fucking me driving around in L.A. traffic when I first moved here from Chicago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know what? It's this is a powerful visual. Like yeah. it's it's made the rounds. I, I saw it today. You know, it's it's kind of gone a little bit viral. This is a powerful thing. And we can mm-hmm. learn a lot from that. You know, when you're like I was saying before, when you're out there in a boat and you see a whale, you're like, oh, my God, whale. This is so cool. You don't think that maybe, you know, that whale has dodged a dozen other boats in the last 24 hours and that it's stressed and that it's moving erratically and it's not following its normal migration patterns because of it. You just think, cool, whale. Right. And that's how yeah. kind of that's why there's a whale watching industry. Right. So this is a powerful, useful graphic. I mean, there's science here. I don't know what it is, but there's science behind it. You know, that tracking data and that AIS data is super valuable. And, and maybe the Chilean government or whomever can can make some adjustments because of it. So it might be sad, but we wouldn't be sad if we didn't have that information and we couldn't make changes if we did, weren't sad about that information. So I think it's a good thing overall. Yeah, yeah, and governments do, you know, I think we all probably have slightly pessimistic views of, like, governments choosing profit over wildlife and nature. But, you know, there, there sure. are – you do come across things like in certain parts of Hawaii where there are rare birds that run into the windows of resorts that they built. So they mm-hmm. make you turn off the lights or put your windows down or certain – you know, I was just looking yeah. at something in Utah where you're not allowed to dive in this uh, – in this lake anymore because there's an endangered fish there and they don't want people diving. Mm. So like, you know, governments do sometimes step in and make changes. So maybe this, all the work that went into making this graphic could end up having some sort of positive change. Who knows? Who the fuck knows? Yeah, I'm for it. You know, I don't believe in ecophobia. I never have. It's not something we, we promote on our shows, Patrick. So this is great, you know, to Jose who made this and all everybody involved. Thank you. This is valuable data. And I hope that, the Chilean government and whomever else, the shipping traffic control can look at this and uh, make some adjustments. So I think it's a good thing. It might be sad to look at, but it's sad for the right reasons. Yep, yep. Minor correction. Luis Bedrino Romano made the graphic. Jose is the one that is making it go viral. Copy. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Well, good work, Luis. Still sticking I'm sure with that Rose. took a fuckload of work. I'm sure that took like Ooh, more yeah, work really. than anything, any one task that I've ever just done to completion. <laughs> Like taking all of the data and overlaying it into a graphic, like that must have taken mm, yeah. fucking forever. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Getting it all together. Cool. Well, cool. share this video if you want. If uh, you like blue whales. If you hate them, don't. If you like blue whales and you mm. want the government uh, of Chile to change, share it. And if you like us, you know, hit that button. Tell a friend about these videos and mm-hmm. uh, join our Discord. Wildtimes.club. <sighs> Good night.